It was winter time on the island of Sodor. The snow covered fields and railway lines. All the engines were hard at work, except Percy. Mom Percy. Huff Thomas and went on his way. Later, Thomas had to help clear snow by a tunnel, but it was too deep, and he got stuck. Thomas was very cross. He moaned. Rusty was close by. Ask Thomas, replied Rusty, and then the little engine did. Scarlowy was working the line to the slate mine in the mountains. When the snow came, it was difficult to work. They used the snow as a double buffer zone to help stop cars skidding through the ravine. One day, Scarlowy set off to the mines with some empty cars. Meanwhile, there was trouble at the mine. The winch that hauls the cars up and down wasn't working properly. Scarlowy had reached the ravine. High above him were the mine yards, said his driver. Scarlowy watched as his driver prepared it. Then they ran over the cap. The bang echoed around the gorge. Nothing happened, said his driver. But high above them, all was not well. A long line of full cars was about to be winched down the slope. They had just started their journey when some empty cars became derailed. The winch groaned, shouted the freight cars. And they did. They giggled, said a workman. But he was wrong. The freight cars plunged into the ravine. Scarlowy and his driver heard the noise and looked up. They cried. When the snow plume cleared, there was no sign of Scarlowy. He was buried deep inside the high drift, blocking the ravine. Asked Thomas. No one knew that the heat from Scarlowy's engine had helped to make an igloo. They cleared away the ice, only to find Scarlowy's driver and fireman drinking cocoa, as if nothing had happened. Chuff Thomas, said Rusty. The men had just cleared the snow away from him when Gordon puffed by with his machine. He stopped by the tunnel and wheezed loudly. Then it happened, cried Gordon. Chuckled Thomas, moaned Gordon from within, and then fell as silent as the snow.